Okay, Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that, especially if you enjoy this reading. Um, please keep in mind, this is a general weekend love reading, or just a general weekend reading, um, covering all areas, love as well, if it shows up. And so some messages may or may not be for you. Um, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but of course, all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, so let's get into your reading. Happy Easter, happy Passover. Um, this is going to be for April 7th through the 9th. So we'll see what messages are playing out here for you for the weekend. Um, also, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. <clears throat> you can book your reading. Um, okay, I thought I had a card that flipped out, but I guess not. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on for your weekend here. What is going on <clears throat> for Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Virgo's Weekend Messages. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look here. All right, so, so Virgo, it looks like you are unsure about something. There's something that you are either hoping to come in over this weekend or you might get ghosted or, or somebody might have ghosted you or might be wondering if somebody's ghosting you over the weekend um, or just not responding back. Um, I feel like there may be some plans that were made earlier in the week and I kind of feel like you might be more in this situation of like um, you haven't heard from this person about these plans or what's going on um, should you reach out uh, should you inquire try to find out like what the situation is here um, yeah so if you have something planned for this weekend with someone um, or some people um, it looks to me like let's see what you should do should you reach out about this um, if someone hasn't gotten back to you in time, what should Virgo do here? No, you should not. Um, Eight of Cups. You should, if someone's not reaching out or reaching back to you, or if you feel like someone might be ghosting you, let them ghost. Walk away. Make other plans, Virgo, for the weekend, okay? Um, that's your advice. Of course, at the end of the day, you have free will. You do what you want, okay? Um, I also see something here to do. Um, hmm. somebody's doing some gardening perhaps or planting some seeds um, or um, doing some something crafty okay whether that's a garden kind of situation or building something um, or going to like um, a hardware store or a lumber yard or um, a car parts or something um, it could also be like um, getting some information or some blueprints or some manuals or something along those lines to create something. Um, there's an urge, an urge for growth here over the weekend, an urge to create something over the weekend. So you might, um, it looks like if it's related to somebody not getting back to you about something, it looks like you're just going to walk away and say, okay, well, I still have these things I can do and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so that's what you're going to do. It doesn't look like you're going to be going home and, you know, crying in your pillow or sulking. It looks like you're, you're just going to turn around and say, okay, I'm going to go do this. Right. Okay. Um, I have judgment here. Yeah, this is, this kind of feels like a, a little bit of like an aha moment for you. Um, you know, I don't know what it is, Virgo, but I kind of feel like it's a good thing. Um, maybe in the past, you would just kind of like sulk or just get upset or let it ruin your day or your weekend. And I know there's a holiday weekend, um, but I feel like you recover pretty damn quick. I feel like you're like, you know what, It uh, this is a beautiful weekend or um, whatever. I, I can still do something with this weekend. I'm, I'm still going to make something happen here for myself, okay? Um, so I, I feel like you're going to get into something. And if, it, you know, and if, if you take the advice, I feel like the advice is to just turn around and leave it alone and go do something else here. Um, okay. So maybe somebody's turning, you're, you're going to church or you're doing something spiritual as well over the weekend as well. Um, let me see. I just want to get some more messages. Well, actually, I want to see what's going on with someone here who's not reaching out um, or not following through with some plans. Okay. 
Hmm. Ace of Cups and the Chariot. Oh, it looks like they... Okay, hold on. All right. Wow. So it looks like somebody here... Okay, no. All right, hold on. Wait a minute. Why did somebody ghost, though? Oh. Something to do with a mother or an ex. Okay, something to do with a mother or a baby mama, baby daddy, or an ex. Something like that. Okay. Um, or somebody has to babysit or has to watch a grandchild or something along those lines. Yeah, I mean, I feel like their intentions were good here. Ace of Cups and the Chariot. But, you know, they're gone to shit if they don't reach out. Um, will this person reach out to Virgo and like even apologize or do anything or say anything yeah I do feel like there will be some communication um but it's they're just saying it's going to come like way later like an apology um or like kind of like a make it up to you let's get together at this later time or in another time okay I'm just leaving that there because I feel like for you Virgo you know <sighs> I, I kind of, I, I don't know if that's though an excuse that they're saying that they got something else came up and they're actually out doing something else. I mean, Virgo, whatever, whatever people do, you know, it'd be nice to let you know. That's all I'm saying. Right. But it looks to me like if you don't get or you don't hear anything from anybody, you're like, no, I got other stuff to do. I, I feel like you're, like I said, your energy is like, okay, well, it's their loss. <laughs> you know, I, I just don't. I don't, I just feel like you just turn, you do a, a complete 180 and it's like, you're not going to chase somebody down and, you know, you're going to just go and make other plans. So if you have something going on, like there's plans being made right now and it comes close to the time when someone should have confirmed with you, make sure you have a backup plans or something else to do. Okay. Just make sure you have a plan B. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. Um, so it looks like, let me see here. Okay got the tower yeah um i don't know it looks like you're just gonna say no no thanks i'm not trying to make anything up with you ghosted sorry not gonna happen you have another opportunity here virgo there could be somebody else showing up here let me see or you get another invite yeah oh no it looks like you have another like a love offer of some sort that comes in from a water sign queen of cups is generally um you get an invite you turn something down not because you get an invite but because you know so you were ghosted and and somebody just kind of disappeared on you and really just didn't like make it known what was going on they just kind of left everything up in the air and because of that you're like no bye bye adios and and then after that you get something else that comes in here ace of pentacles queen of cups knight of cups so you get another offer like this screams virgo's not chasing anybody virgo's not you know trying to force anything you show up you show up if you don't you don't okay so for some of you it's a water sign for others of you it's a fire sign okay um let me see virgo <laughs> You get an invite maybe from a couple or you get an invite from a single person that says, hey, ask Virgo to come. Um, no, it looks like everything kind of turns out great for you over the weekend. Um, this person is going to try to like connect with you at a later time, but I feel like you're just like, nah, you have something else going on. The Hierophant, like you're, uh, you're going to, if you respond back to, you know, you might respond later and say, I'm sorry, I have, um, I have future commitments. I have another commitment and moving on you're just you know it's not that deep it's not that serious yeah um wheel of fortune just you know moving forward this this other option i feel like maybe you're being protected from maybe you weren't supposed to get together with somebody here um like if someone rejects you that's usually a form of protection for you in other words like you might have wanted to but it looks to me like i feel like universe is like no 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 we're gonna put an end to this right <laughs> and it, it feels to me like you know you're just gonna go make other plans and everything else really works out for you even better 
yeah i mean it's not deep honestly it's not deep it's just an energy of like you hear somebody invites you somewhere they do something they ask you out or they invite you to dinner or they do something along those lines and for whatever reason they don't cancel the plans and they don't confirm and you just keep it moving and you take care of whatever needs you know you keep yourself busy doing you know back to the drawing board doing whatever you need to do and then you get another offer invite so it feels like friday you don't hear back from somebody and you're just like you hang up the phone you're done that's it you're not calling um you don't hear back from them saturday morning you wake up you do your thing whatever you're doing you might have some thunderstorms wherever you are on the weekend um or on saturday so you're not letting that stop you you're you know some of you are going to visit some people who may have passed, um, like going to a gravesite if you do that, um, or just in remembrance kind of thing. Um, I don't know, your, your weekend, your Saturday seems to be, like I said, there was several different things going on, and your Saturday seems to be all about, you know, you and what you're doing for yourself, okay, um, which is awesome. Okay, um, and then I feel like sometime late Saturday afternoon, you get an invite, which is April 8th, you get some type of offer that comes in and uh, it's very beautiful. The Knight of Cups can be a proposal of love or, um, you know, a prince or princess charming or romantic proposal or, um, you know, an offer to come spend time with some family or friends or other people um, that you commit to that. And it's very favorable to you. So I kind of feel like you know, if you don't hear from someone over the weekend or they don't follow through by Friday, you don't hear anything, do not let that stop you. Don't let that get you down. Just remember that you've got other options here. You've got other things um, to do, other things going on. Yeah, you're definitely going to get a message. You might have like, there might be a couple with a child as well um, that invite you somewhere or it's a female or a, it's a male that invite you to you know go somewhere take a trip or go do something or do a road trip or a drive somewhere or go somewhere for the weekend um yeah so i kind of feel like for you virgo oh and by the way as far as the moon reading i, I did upload this little teeny tiny moon um pink moon short and i also uploaded a video um so i thought i would just give you that message and you can hold on to that message for your full moon reading all right um but i don't know virgo i don't really like it's it's a 50 50 you know i mean it's not like the the best reading of all time for the weekend but it's not the worst it's somewhere right in the middle it's like a little bit of disappointment but then everything kind of works out so then it kind of levels out it's a bit even keel neutral kind of balanced here um because i don't see you being like crazy disappointed you know about anything there's something that doesn't pan out um will this person yeah like i said there will be like oh can i make it up to you or can we connect another time or whatever the opportunity we'll look and see how the following week goes and see if that plays out but i feel like um you know whatever the reason for someone ghosting um it really doesn't matter what matters is the the actions or the or the inaction or the la the lack of action that somebody took to not confirm with you i mean they could say, you know, oh, I was in a car crash or something happened to my mom or, you know, I had to go to the hospital or, you know, I was late. I was at happy hour and, and we went, I got really drunk. Like, I mean, if it's the first time, that's up to you. If you want to say, you know what, we'll talk another time and then r reconcile with that person another time down the line. Um, that's a different story because that's completely up to you. But if you don't hear from anybody at all, I mean, pfft, later, you know, just keep it moving. And I see you doing that. All right, Virgo. So it's a short, sweet weekend reading. It's pretty much as far as I'm going to go right now. <laughs> um, because I actually started recording a reading prior to this. And it wasn't it wasn't going through it wasn't recording and then i tried to do it again and then the volume didn't work the audio cut out so i just restarted an entire reading in fact i don't even know what that was about but i just completely restarted everything here so i'm going to leave that for you and also this is easter weekend for me so i will be back here on tuesday evening um april 11th okay um to do your 
follow through your week reading because I will be on vacation for Easter. Um, so I will be out of here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday. So I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday weekend, holiday week, holiday weekend, and I'll see you all back here on Tuesday. All right, take care. Bye.